How embarrassing. I did do a full pre-flight, but apparently it wasn't as full as I had thought. Thankfully, the guy assisting me at launch caught and fixed it for me, and I was good to go in the end. I launched at around 11 a.m. for my second flight the next day at McClure. The launch was good, I think, but I still forgot to activate my harness's attitude control lever, aka butt plate, to get into a more head down position so I could hold the base bar. But I remembered quick enough and did it. Today I thought I'd try to actually work some thermals to get high, so I stuck close to the terrain which can collect and or generate thermals on most days. I wasn't finding much close in, so I decided to try my luck a little further out. As you can see, I'm a bit lower than I was a few minutes ago, so I kept meandering around looking for lift. Right here, I felt a strong thermal. I wasn't very high off the deck, but I did what's called a crank and bank to try and get into the center of the thermal, but I missed it and fell out of it into sinking air. I must have dropped at least a good 50 feet, which put me way too close to the ground. Whoa! I came so close to the ground when my harness scraped the tops of the bushes but I fortunately had enough energy to bump my glider up and over the ridge into a small descending valley that allowed me to continue flying out toward the landing zone.
While this did enable me to get across the highway, I was much too low at this point to make the LZ. So, and so I crashed into some nice soft chemise bushes. And I broke my damn down tube. A pilot still in the air saw my landing and radioed my position and condition to a couple of other pilots in the LZ who drove up as close as they could get to help me extract my glider from the bushes and break it down so we could transport it back to the LZ. Thanks, Tom and Terry. Since then, I've replaced my broken down tube and am ready to try again, which, which I plan to soon. Such is the life of a hang glider pilot. Remember, there is no real gain without some risk.